forwarded to an automatic voice. Hello? Hey, um, this is Christopher Amen. I was calling about, uh, was calling trying to reach the property owner at 1652 Evermay. That would be us. Hey, how's it going today? Good, how about you? I'm doing blessed. I can't complain. Well, I was just doing a quick um courtesy call um around the neighborhood. I have a uh, I'm a real estate agent. I have a listing for sale right now at 1620 Evermay. I don't know if you've seen it for uh -huh. sale. Yeah, right now it's um the property value is worth I think six, no not six I'm sorry, three three forty three um that's like the range right now we selling for three twenty and I was trying to see if you knew anybody looking to buy or sell in that area right now. I don't right now, but thank you for asking that. I appreciate yeah. you checking. <laughs> Ain't no problem. Hope things, go, hope, things, hope things go well with your sale. Oh, thank you. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, no, I appreciate it. We're good. Thank you for asking. Y'all right. have a good day. It's beautiful outside. Get some sunshine. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You have a great one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good. Awesome. Is this? Hey, this is Chris Aben. I'm down here with the housing mentors. <clears throat> I was given a call. Um, I have a house for sale at 620 Evermay Drive. Um, it's in your area. And um, I was just calling out to the neighborhood, seeing if you knew anybody that was looking to buy right now in that area. To buy a house? Yeah, because we got one for sale. It's um, currently for sale for 320 uh, I think the property uh -huh. value is in your area is upwards to 360 right now in, in the Heritage Manor um, neighborhood. Uh, are you like a wholesaler? No, I'm a real estate agent. Oh, real estate agent. Oh, no, well, I don't know anyone at the moment. Oh, not at the moment. Um, Are y'all looking yeah. to maybe buy, sell, or invest in the future? Uh, Maybe later, but not right now. Not right now. Y'all, Do y'all already have an agent that, that y'all work with personally, or... Be pretty open. Yeah. Y'all do? Yeah, no, yeah, we already have someone. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, all right. Well, if you ever um want to take a second option, uh, just give me a call, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank th you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing great. Hey, um, my name is Chris Aitman. I'm a real estate agent in the area. I was calling you guys to let you know that I have a property for sale at 1620 Evermay Drive. Um, it's around your area. I was trying to see if you knew anybody who was searching in that area right now looking to buy. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, are you um currently at 5301 Dunrobin? Are you currently at 5301? No, I'm, uh-uh, no, I'm not. Oh, so you're not the property owner at that address? Mm -mm, no, uh, I'm not. Okay, um, do you need, are you uh, looking to buy or sell in the future or no? No, sir, I'm okay. not. Okay, thank you, have a good one. All right, you too, bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Um, who's this? Hey, this is Chris Aitman. I'm with the Housing Mentors. Um, I was just giving you a quick call, calling pretty much anybody in your neighborhood about. Um, I got a home for sale at 1620 Evermay Drive. Um, I just listed it at 320, and I was trying to see if you knew anybody looking to buy in that area right now. Um, I do not. You don't. Um, are you are you no. um currently in that area still? Um, I got you listed at 5313 Dunrobin. Are you you trying to buy homes or selling well, homes? I'm a I'm a real estate agent, so um, 
I pretty much help people with their real estate needs. Uh, I currently got this one listed. So I'm just doing my due diligence, calling around the neighborhood, uh, letting people know that the home is available and um, seeing if it was anything that I can do for them if you know they were looking to buy, sell, or invest in the future. Work with the family that, that does the same thing, so if we would need that, we would go with them. Hey, I don't blame you, I already know. Hey, but um, thank you so much for your time, man. You have a blessed one, okay? You as well, thank you. All right, bye bye. Hey Sean. Hey, I, um, I was giving a quick call. I was looking for the property owner of fourteen forty two Ever May Drive. Definitely not this number. Sorry. All right. Are you in the North Carolina area? I am not. I'm in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. They got you listed as the property owner. All right. No problem. Thank you, Sean. I, I get calls for properties all over the United States. Yeah. I, wish I owned them because I'd be rich, but I don't. Yeah, man. That's crazy. I mean, I'm sorry you're getting all them calls, man. <laughs> Hi, right, you too, brother. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hey, um, this is Christopher Aitman. I was calling looking for the property owner 1628 Ever May. Who? 16, you said? <clears throat> yeah, 1628 Ever May Drive in Raleigh. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. Hey, Jimmy. This is uh, Chris Amen. I'm a real estate agent in the area. I was just calling to let you know I got 1620 FMA for sale right now for 320. Um, the the estimated value for the home is like 343. I didn't know if you know anybody looking to buy or sell in the area right now. And what was the number? Um, 1620. Yeah, 1620, right down the street from you, across the across the street, right down the street. No, we still. Uh, yeah, we just got the pictures and everything, but um, we got we got a price for three twenty, but I know um, if it, everything was in like excellent condition, depending on the home, homes been selling out there for like three forty. Right. How large is that house? Huh? How big is that one? Um, it is fourteen fifty four. Okay, let me see. Now I don't really know anybody right now, but I'm curious what they're going for in the area. All right. I'm actually looking to get a bigger house. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Jimmy, let me get your email address, and I can research your um address and send you an email with a property report. Right. Well, no, I've already got folks on mine as well. Oh, you already uh, you already working with an agent? Three. No, I'm not trying to sell it just yet. Okay. I'm looking for a house, first, and I got an agent. I oh. do have an agent that's looking for a house because I'm selling one of my other properties in Asheville. Oh, okay. So you already got an agent on a job as far as finding you somewhere. Right. Are y'all in agency yeah, agreement? My wife and I just recently sold our house in Asheboro like this week. Oh, Literally. yeah. That's a good area too. What, Asheboro? Yeah, I love that area. Yeah, that house was only on the market for two days. Well, not even two days. It was two days of showing and it went. Oh, wow. So you do investing? But no. When I met my wife, she owned that house. Okay. I own mine. So now we sold that one. We're gonna buy another one, and then I'm gonna actually sell mine. <laughs> I purchased another one. Okay. So my house is eventually gonna be for sale. Okay, like within but maybe I'm like find the other house first. around three to six months, maybe. Yeah, somewhere like that. All right, and how soon? Yeah. How soon are you trying to find that other house? Uh, we're already looking. Okay. Um. You know. So are you in agency but agreement? Yeah, I was actually. I, 
I was just asking, are you in agreement with the agent already? Like, you already signed paperwork? Well, not on buying, not on buying another one just yet. Okay. She's the one that sold up the house. And we had her looking for a house previous. And uh, so, and she, I mean, like, she's a friend of the family. So right. And she, she obviously a good agent. Family, right. So she like her. Okay, cool, cool. All right, no, hey, no problem, Jimmy. Hey, if you need help or if you need anything, a market report, anything, huh? Yeah, why don't you um, text me your information? Okay, you text it to me. Okay, perfect, All perfect. Right. All right. All right, Jimmy. Thank you a lot. All right, you too. All right, bye bye. Okay, awesome. Hey, um, yeah, I was calling on the, just the houses in the area. Um, I got one for sale. Um, on sixteen twenty Ever May, and I was trying to see if you knew anybody that was looking, um, or interested in buying or selling, or if you yourself was looking to buy, sell, or invest in the near future. No, I don't live over there anymore. Oh, are you still in North Carolina? For now. Oh, for now. I'm so. getting ready to relocate. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I already know how it is. All right, well, if you yeah, if you okay. ever get a hold of anybody that's looking, just um send them my information, okay? Um, so what you say is a house available for rent? Um, it's for sale right now. Um, for three twenty. Uh, how much is that for rent a, a month? So three twenty is gonna cost you around like fourteen, fifteen, maybe a oh. month. I have a girlfriend that's looking for a house, but she told me she didn't want to spend fourteen hundred. So, um, I got your number, and if she calls you, her name will be Constance. Constance, yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. she if she's looking for something like, um, but I don't think she told me she don't want to spend that much for rent though. Yeah, rent. So, yeah, because like you know, rent right now is you're gonna be paying around like nine hundred to. Let yeah. So it's like. Cause I live in an apartment and mine's a thousand, but I ain't get ready to stay here. I don't get ready to move again. <laughs> but I, so I, I lived in Eva on Eva Mill for seven, for seven years. I used to live at um, what's that? What's that? Uh, seventeen oh nine Eva May. Oh, okay, right, right down the street. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's right down the street. That's that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's a nice. That was a nice area. That is a nice area. It's expanding too. Well, the reason why I left there is because Mo got in my house, and um, the Mo got in the house and whatever, and that I was on housing at the time, scatter sites, and they wouldn't they wouldn't fix the Mo. When I got sick, stayed in the hospital for a while, oh, and wow. I had to move out and got an apartment. So I was there for seven years, though. Oh yeah. It's a green and white house right there on the corner. When you make that turn, when you come around on Eva May. That next street, you make it right, right there. I used to stay in that green and white house right there. Oh, you said the owner didn't want to, um, didn't want to fix no, the mold. They didn't. Mm mm. They fixed the mold. I lost everything. Had to throw everything um out. Had to start over. Wow. Do and they still I own it? House, hmm? Do they still own it, or you don't know? I don't know. I know when I passed through there the other day, somebody, somebody else living there now, and then the house next. Beside me, they went through the same thing. Oh, Most wow. got in their house over there, too. So they left. They left, too. They left, like, uh, a couple of months after I did. And what was the address you stayed so at they, again? 1709. 1709, Eva May. Mm -hmm. Eva May. Do, I don't know the address. Do you got I the owner the number? No. No, no. I... I, I made sure because I tried to sue them and everything. <laughs> then nothing happened. So oh, I, wow. I tried to go through trying to sue them and, and actually it, it was a white house beside mine too. The guy, it was a guy living there. Uh, him, my house was in the middle and then that brown house is actually on that corner. All of us got attacked with mold. That's crazy. I wonder why. I don't know. My, I think because um, I think it was a bad storm, and my my ha um, heat and stuff, it, not heat, because it was hot outside, and all that moisture had gotten in, and we sent people out. 
they keep saying it won't nothing wrong, but it was all in my closet and my um I got pictures. It was horrible. And so I left and then the other two people that were beside me, they were still there and the lady across the street eventually told me they had to move too because they had mold in their house too. Yeah, gotta so get you I was sick. like, you know So I was like, you know, I'm I'm I went to an apartment and now I'm about to move again. Oh, right, where you plan on moving? Winston-Salem. That's where my daughter lives at. And she got a house down there. And I heard that's a nice area. Winston-Salem? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She went to school there. And um, she's, getting a, she's getting a house built down there. So. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know where she's going to be at. But she, it's, she told me, Mom, you just come on with me. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that. Because I've been at my job for 18 years. And. Oh, wow, that's a long time. I've been at my job for 18 years now, and she um, went to school and got her master's, so she's trying to oh, that's what's start up. some of her own. That is good. And I have, by, mm, by me having this experience, she want me to come, come down there to get her started, and I can work with her part-time or whatever, whatever, you know, but. That's nice. I'm, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying. I don't, I don't know which way I want to do. <laughs> yeah, you weigh your options, right? Mm-hmm. I need for her to go ahead and grow, go by, you know, not by herself, but I don't mind coming and visit, but she want me to ask for coming to live with her. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I don't know yet. Okay. So you said you got yeah, a friend, well, you had a friend, Constance. Um, You said, how soon is she looking to um buy just talked to her this weekend, last weekend, and I didn't know she had moved out of her house that she was living in, because she was living in Raleigh. Okay. On Bunch Drive, and she was, had a roommate, so, but she said she was looking, but she didn't want to spend that much. 1400 oh. All right. Um, if she's if she's looking to buy it, I can definitely get her lower than 1400 We just have to look in the different price points. Um, but, if you want, if you want to give me her number, I can give her a text and see if she's. No, 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 no. I give her your number. Okay. She, I don't want her. Um, you know, I don't want nobody to be pressure her. Yeah, about true. Nothing. She just just told me last weekend. I don't want her to be saying. You know, she just told me. Right. So I got your number. Okay. So she interested me. She'll call you. Okay. Yeah. And if okay you, then. Well, I enjoy talking to you though. I enjoy talking to you too. If you know anybody else, just um send them my information. And what's your name? My name is Dot. How do you get my number anyway? Um. Uh, well, I um got this system where um like if I'm selling a house in the area, it like mm-hmm. goes and searches all the websites and stuff and every all the information for like other people numbers of house owners in that area. So mm-hmm. I guess since you lived in that property, um. It pulled up under that address as a you know somebody living in that residence, so that's that's why I called you. That's how I got your number. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I I'm, I haven't been there now in like three years. I, I know this information ain't the best, <laughs> as I'm starting to realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's um, mm-mm, no. And how you spell your name? I, I go by dot, D-O-T. Okay, That's dot. I, I, don't, I don't like to give out my info. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, I, I call you whatever you yeah. want to be called. No worries. Yeah, dot. Okay, mm-hmm. dot. Yeah, but um, I even, when I, when I moved out and came back, I didn't even know that you could move out of house. I moved out in the end of, it was on the end of December. And I had went by there to visit one of the neighbors and somebody else was moving in and I gave them heads up. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you right now, if you go in that closet, if it's fresh paint in there, and that kitchen, that pantry, them cabinets, mm. it's all, I said, all that was mold. And I had my book, and I showed them everything. That is a shame. So I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the same people. If the lady took me up on my word, or somebody else moved in there, I left alone. Hey, because you I did your the duty. Going in there with a, yeah, <laughs> she had a newborn baby, she oh. had like a four-year-old. And I said, my son was 17, and he was sick with headaches. Yep. And it was all in his room, his closet, behind his bed. It was all in our covers and everything. Oh, wow. And they didn't want to give me nothing. They didn't give me anything. They didn't want nothing they could do for me. So I said, I passed it on to the next person. 
Right. Definitely. So, mm-hmm. so, no, I haven't been there in a while now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put that in my notes, so, um, and I'm gonna let the people know too, so nobody keep on calling you, um, look, thinking you live there. But um, yeah, if you need anything in the future, any advice, renting, buying, selling, the best, no, no, anybody, just send them my information or give me a call. Okay, Doc. Okay, so you got houses in other places too? Yeah, I got houses all through North Carolina. Well, shoot, I don't want to go to Woods and Salem, but I just re uh, renewed my lease. But I said I'm going to leave. I'm a, I did it for like 12 months. Okay. But um, I can't afford it either. I can't afford no fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars dollars 1500 rent either. Yeah, I'm know. paying my rent just went up to nine seventy five, and I'm about to have a fit about that. <laughs> right, I'm telling and I live you. In, I mean, it's, it's everything's going up because when they told me my rent went up, because when I first moved out here, it was like eight fifty. Now it's went up to nine seventy four. Yeah, they're and taking advantage of this pandemic. Get, yeah, really, they are instead of trying to help. Mm-hmm. I would rather be in the house. I would rather. In an apartment, but I'm I like my apartment. I got two bedrooms, two full baths, kitchen and living room, and a, a balcony on the back of my apartment. So you can also it, buy me, you can buy condos too. I don't know. A lot of people don't know that, um, but like yeah, you can mm, buy condos, I, and they sometimes you can find a condo for like seventy, eighty thousand, depending on the area. And if you find a house under a hundred thousand, your rent is gonna be like three, four hundred. I mean, not your rent, your mortgage is gonna be like three, four hundred a month. So it's all about the price really? point. Yeah, it's all about the price point of where you're buying at. So if you're buying, I'm gonna say one sixty, you're gonna be under. You're gonna be probably at a thousand, maybe twelve hundred or under at one sixty, depending on the interest rate. So if it's a hundred and fifty and under, you should be under a thousand dollars a month. So he says like it's the area. Now, I like I'm in Nightdale now. That's where I like this. I like Nightdale. I like this area. Okay. Nightdale. Nightdale is a little, mm-hmm. it's a little pricey, but um, mm-hmm. if you wanted to still be around that Raleigh area, I would like recommend like moving into one of the um, rural areas around there where it'd be maybe like a 20 minute commute to the city because then you mm-hmm. can get more square footage for your dollar and then you can qualify for USDA loans, which is zero down payment. Okay. So what do you mean the, like out in Wendell or somewhere like that? Yeah, like Sanford, Lillington, Bun. Well, that's <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's south. So yeah, like if you either direction, any of them outskirt cities with a population of maybe fifteen thousand or less, um, you know, like mm-hmm. the little pass through cities. Yeah, them cities, them are the ones that where you can really, even in renting, you can really get the bang for your buck. But with the renting side, a lot of them don't post on um on Zillow, so you have to drive through and look for a for rent sign, but um, yeah, those small, those small towns, that's, that's where you get your money at. I will not, because I like, like I said, I'm in Nightdale now, but what about Zeppelin, Wendell? Yep, Zeppelin, I, I yep, think. that's another one, Zeppelin, that's actually a growing one too, so they really about to, ex- all these small towns are going to be, like, mid-sized cities within the next five years, that's in between Fayetteville and Raleigh, and between yeah. Charlotte and Raleigh and Charlotte and Fayetteville, all them little cities, them are going to grow to be like the new Fayettevilles, the new um, Winston-Salem's. It's going to be mid-sized cities, Asheboro. It's going to be like those. So they're building a lot of new construction out there. Like, I know, like, 700 homes in Rayford. Um, I know um, in Sanford. they build. Fuquay? Yep, Fuquay, that's another good area. Now, Fuquay, on the, I'm going to say the south side of Fuquay, you will qualify for USDA. But the north side that's closer to Raleigh, you might not. But um, Fuquay is a, is another one of them cities. And that's a nice area, right. too. Yeah. One of my, some of my friends, I work at a doctor's office um, off Six Forks. And they work, some, I got some friends that work out there in Fuquay. They just bought houses from out there. They say they love it. It's just the traffic. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the traffic going to rally. But I'm used to living. Out, I'm used to live because before I even moved to Eva May, me and my husband got a divorce, and I lived off Smithfield Road in Nightdale. Okay. And I love that area. And I said, if I could ever get back out that way, I would move out that way. Smithfield. Uh, yeah. I used to live in Amber Acres. Uh, 
Metal Run. I used to live off those off that road right there. But um, Windhill is not that far from Nightdale, so I would do that too if I could, if I had a choice to try to you know get something. But I know right now my credit ain't like it should be. Right. And I gotta work on that. Hey, and don't worry, you you're not alone. And I mean, I deal with a lot of um, people looking to buy homes and their credit is not there, but. In six to six months to a year, you can get exactly where you need to be. Like you already got everything else from what I've been listening to. You qualify for buying a home. You've been working in the same industry for over two years. Um, you make you got an income. Um, I don't know how your debt to income ratio is, but since you're renting, it don't sound high. You know, you might have a car note or whatever. But you know, mm-hmm. you you definitely qualify. If credit is the only option, we have options where they don't even consider credit score. They are they pass you through. With no credit, so we we got options for um, people with. Well, hell, I might need you, but the only thing though, I already signed the lease for here though. That's the only thing. Yeah, I, I mean, will have to break my lease. You don't got to buy now. I mean, we it's a process, so you know, you, you know, you want to make sure you do your research. We want to make sure we find you the right property on the market. It might be six months or a year from now, which gives you enough time to you know put money into your savings, um, mm-hmm. build your credit up. And then we we have more time to kind of look at the market. Right now, the market is kind of hot right now. So interest rates are high and prices are high. Yeah. So, and there's not a lot of inventory. So, you know, maybe further down the line, maybe a little bit mid next year, it might be a whole different atmosphere. We might have way more houses, houses in the areas that you're looking in and your credit to be where it's at. And you'll be, you'll be more ready and educated to well, buy. You could keep, well, you could keep me on your list too, then. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I really don't, I'll be honest, I don't want to go to Wix Salem. I really don't. <laughs> all, all, all my friends and people that I ain't got with, we is here, but I don't know if I really want to go. I don't know. I, real right now, I don't know what I want. She just threw it out there at me, and I, I, I was like, well, I'll let you know. I, it's tempting. I kind of want to be there, but you know, I, just, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want, no, I feel you. I don't know if I want to do all that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh, no problem. What's the um, what's the best email address? I can send you a buyer's guide, and that's gonna like it's it's um gonna just show you the whole process, so you'll know everything, how it goes, what mm-hmm. to expect, and all of that. Okay, it's you need my address from here, right? Your email address. Oh, okay, Avery. Mm-hmm. Period. D O T. Six six. At Yahoo. Com. Okay, got you. All right, Dad, I got you, and I'm gonna send you that information. I'm, I'm gonna continue to follow up with you, and yeah. um, and what's your name? My name is Christopher Aitman. Okay. And it's Christopher with a K. That's how you re- remember it. So. Christopher with a K. Yep. Okay. All right, so I'm Are gonna. You calling for what? So you're calling from a real estate agent or what? Okay. Yeah, I'm. A, yeah, I'm a real estate broker. In North Carolina. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I can text you. I'm gonna text you all my information, my um, okay. Okay. my and business card. Okay. Okay. And then I'll Yep. Yeah, cause this number right here, this is my business number. I'm gonna text you from my personal number, so so you okay. can reach me easier. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I need to keep the business number too, don't I? Yep. I'm gonna text you from both of them. I'm gonna text you from both of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna text you from both of them. Okay. All right, Dad, you have a blessed day. It was a pleasure talking to you. All right, and thank you. And I pray that I get something that on one day I own my own home again that I can afford. We speaking into existence. Don't worry. That's right. I got this. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. Thank you. No problem. Talk to you later.